Again, a little overview. When we come here, there's a purpose, there's, there's a reason why. Yep. There's improving golf, and there's trying to avoid what just happened last Saturday, from the golf. Yep. When we go down the path, of, you can start to see here that, that based on this framework, if I come in here with the mentality of, I'm going to, I'm here because I don't want to shank it in the water on the last hole like I just did. Based on what I need to know as a skill, knowledge and psychology, it's completely different to how do I hit that shot the way I want to hit it. Does that make sense? And then based on that, this is the last part is, the environments that we look at, we classify them as block, random, game. Block is what we see most people doing here. One screen, one ball, one club, hit, 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 hit. They literally, they might as well just walk up with one golfer. It's like, yeah, based on studies, 10% of our time should be spent doing that. Why? Because that doesn't match golf. Golf isn't just one golf club and away I go. It's, I've got a bag full of golf clubs, I'm allowed up to 14 golf clubs in my bag. And then even off the back of that, it's just one swing anyway. It's, I've got to do a full one and then I've got to do a little one and I've got to now curve it this way and keep it under the tree that I just hit it in behind, all of these different types of things. So based on whatever, so the focus today is going to be mainly about the skill is, I need to know, can I do it? So when I'm in a controlled environment, the least amount of pressure. Yep. Random. 70% of our time should be based around that. So random, golf, extremely random. Yep. If you want to put yourself in a really random environment, go play golf by yourself. Yeah, you'll put it in the places where you didn't know even existed. Yeah, that's the fun of this game. Yeah. Based on skill, what you can do to the golf club, if I can do, let's just say, simple one, center contact. If I know that I can do this with my seven iron at whatever speed, I've got to be able to quickly put that away, grab my driver and see if I can do that one. And then put my driver away and then grab my wedge because that's the next shot I've got to hit. And then I've missed the green, I've got to do it with my chipping. The skill is still the one skill of center contact. But the randomness, I've got to have the ability to change. Like every golf is half an inch different. So if I go from a seven iron to an eight iron, it's half an inch different. Based on that, my space awareness here is going to be really different too. Feels different, swings different, all of these types of things. And then I go to my driver, it's like another foot long one. And I wonder why that is literally the hardest club in the bag. Yeah, the array of shots that we hit, so a bit of fun fact, a quarter of a million shots get hit in this golf centre every year. About 10 of them go straight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so there's padding and there's everything. You know, we would have seen it, we've heard it, we've done it ourselves, hitting roofs and sideways and all this sort of stuff there. It's like the simplest way to fix that is if we can hit it in the middle of the golf club, everything else takes care of the club. So again, we go to, you can start to see, if I'm truly in here to improve, there's only a really fine amount of skill that I need to be working on. When it comes to tracking, it'll give you everything that you could possibly imagine. Last one, game. Pressure. At the end of the day, hitting the seven iron that goes 150 meters straight down the middle of the line, whether I, it's in a block environment or a random environment, when someone goes, Tommy, can you do it for a thousand bucks? All of a sudden, this shot's different. I'm sure we can all appreciate that with sport. It's like, yeah, catching, passing, kicking is all the same, but all of a sudden it's a grand final, five minutes ago, it's different. It's the things where stats and numbers just don't matter. It truly comes down to the person. I like basketball and I like LeBron James. His free throw, free, free throw shooting percentages is a shit. But if it's on the buzzer and someone needed to shoot it, I'm giving it to him. Because that's where that's enough. Nothing matters. The technique doesn't matter. The skill doesn't matter. It's just the person's willingness to want to get it done. That's that.